In Luke chapter 17, beginning in verse 11, it reads, On the way to Jerusalem, he was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Too often I am guilty of reading scripture as if it is written to exhort me rather than guide me. I mean, don't you read a story like this and think to yourself, I would definitely be the one to come back. But what about the other nine? Why didn't they return? Genuine gratitude drives us to Christ. It is an overflow of the good that is happening in our lives. You do not possess what you cannot express. A disease like leprosy, where my skin is falling off of my body, makes it abundantly clear that I need help. But what if the leprosy is internal? What if no one else can see it? It is good to want to be healed. Healing is something that God wants for us, and we should be comfortable to ask for it. If ultimate healing is something that restores something more than our physical nature, then we will develop a heart of gratitude. And this is when we cannot help but express gratitude because we uh, uh, possess a heart from God. Now watch this. In verse 19, it reads, Your heart has made you well. The word for well in the Greek is saved. The truth is that when we possess the knowledge that we need God, we will have the faith to express our gratitude to God. And then we are made well. Then we are saved. Happy Thanksgiving. May our hearts be aware of our need for His divine interaction.